college not really going a lot going on today in the world of celebrity yeah. gossip. Kind of really, boring. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Ex- boring. boring? <laughs> it's kind of boring, except that one big thing that happened. What's that? I mean, yesterday, Jennifer Lopez. Ah! Well, what? You guys. Filed for divorce. What? By yourself, without a lawyer or a prenup. Whoa. What? Finally. Finally, it was like we were all constipated, pop yes. culturally speaking, of course. And then Jennifer Lopez did us a favor, and uh, she just gave us, us a, a big gift. old <laughs> dose of Metamucil <laughs> and everything. Wow, it feels good, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. I am just awash with questions. I am too. Who's she going to date next? Really quick. Oh God, you're uh, like I'm talking about. She's this thinking divorce. about it. I'm sure. We haven't even gotten a confirmation from her that this is happening. So that's the that's what's that? I she doesn't for? need to because TMZ is right there. You know. No, but they will have to make. Obviously, they're going to have to say something. Yeah. At some point, I mean, again, I don't think this was, and I'm curious, and hopefully, Michael. The blinds might give us some clues, but I I don't think this was a mutual what experience. What? Of course it is. What do you mean? They both hate each other. They both they they didn't. You think Ben wanted to stay in the marriage? I just think her filing for divorce with and they didn't have a prenup indicates that they thought this was going to be forever's. Of course. And the fact that they that she filed by herself while he was dropping the kids off at Yale, that tells me this was not this was not on the cards. I, I don't think Ben hates anything. Mm, that's like, a good point. I don't think he holds like, the capacity fine. to care that it's much. Fine. I think he would have been yeah. married to her for the next 60 years if he, if she yeah. wanted to. He doesn't yeah. care. He's just living his life. Well, oh, you want to get married? Probably what sure, drove her nuts. Get like, get off your butt and care about something. Yeah. That's it's the just, vibe he gives me. I don't know. It just seems like, you know, he's, he's isn't as uptight as she is. And maybe that's just because of what we perceive, but we don't really know them. So, but we can speculate. That's what blind items are about. Right? I exactly. hope so. Otherwise, we don't have a show. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's jump into the blind <laughs> items for today. We're going to start off with this one. It's Splitsville for this a minus list actor known most for sharing an iconic role and this longtime girlfriend with a unique profession. He wants a family. She's not interested. He'll be back on the hunt soon, but we'll likely first see him make a quick dating pit stop with this foreign-born A-list actress as we got to sell those tickets. Oh, my gosh. Let's do this one again. It's Splitsville for an A-list actor who's best known for sharing an iconic role. Mm -hmm. So we've got an A-list actor who's best known for sharing an iconic role and his longtime girlfriend, and she's got a unique profession. Sharing an iconic role. He wants a family. She's not interested. He's going to be on the hunt, but first he's likely going to make a stop or we'll likely see him make a stop with a quick date, a uh, quick dating pit stop with this foreign born A-list actress because they got to sell those tickets. Is this Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner? Okay. Nope. Okay. So sharing a role, this is a role that other people have played. Is he a superhero? Oh, do they have a child? Uh, not he that is, role. He he's not a dad. Uh, okay, so he is a superhero. It's not. Is he a Chris? Uh, okay. Is he a Liam? Uh, okay. So he's in a role, and she's got a unique job. She's not just an actress, not just a mother, and not an actress at all okay she's not an actress she's a jeweler what did you describe her as like a unique... uh, longtime girlfriend with a unique profession okay and long a time i think it's a little relative is a little i don't know i'd use the word long time but uh it's splitsville for this a minus list actor who you guys mm-hmm. have determined is a superhero he's known for sharing an iconic role and he's got a longtime girlfriend according to the blind with a unique profession he wants a family she's not interested He'll be on the hunt soon, but first we'll likely see him make a quick dating pit stop with this foreign-born A-list actress because they got to sell those tickets. The other person that came to mind, but it can't be because he's not a superhero, is Joe Manganiello. 
Because mm. he's been wanting a family, that guy. Usually after your question, is it a Chris, you ask another oh, question. Oh, geez. And we always forget. It's not Robert Pattinson. That's where is I he a Spider-Man? That's usually is the second Tom question. Holland? Toby Maguire. Not to- oh, okay. He's another. Oh, other Andrew one. Garfield. There you go. Oh, okay. Remember his, his longtime girlfriend? girlfriend? No. Uh, Griselda McGillicuddy. No. Oh, she's a witch. There you go. Yes. Oh, you got she's it. A witch. Yeah, she's a witch. Yes. So there you go. Uh, she is indeed a uh, a witch. Kate Thomas is her name, a doctor who uh, says she is a, a witch doctor. study and an expert. She studied the highest levels of her field of modern day magic. Um, uh, he says he wants a family. She's not interested. He'll be on the hunt soon, but we'll likely see him make a quick dating pit stop with this foreign-born A-list actress because mm. they got to sell those tickets. Okay. What you know any projects in? coming up with Andrew Garfield? Oh. Mm. Andrew Garfield is going to be in the... Um, the next? Britney Spears biopic. Nope. This is a movie that is very near coming. Uh, nope. Uh, mm. Just think of our, uh, and then it's a foreign-born A-list actress he's going to be sharing the screen with. So we might be, the blind item is telling us we might be seeing a publication ship on the way. Okay. Is she single? She is single. Okay. But somebody we like to tie to people. Oh, okay. Great. Because she's been one of the uh, hotter movie stars in the last few years. Okay. Last hotter couple years. movie stars. Let's see. Uh Oh, Sydney Sweeney is not. Nope. Hotter stars doing things. Did you say she was foreign born? She's foreign yes. born. She's foreign born. Mm-hmm. Hot things. Sophie Turner? Nope. She's hot and doing things. We talked about her a lot two summers ago. We talked about her almost as much a summer ago being in one of the biggest movies of the year. Margot Robbie? The other movie, Florence Pugh. There you go. There you go. And of course, Oppenheimer. Yes, and of course, okay. the year prior to that, we were talking about her because of all of the "Don't worry, darling" yes. uh, uh, speculation. Oh, yeah. But her and Andrew Garfield have a new movie coming out from A twenty four called "We Live in Time." It oh. is set to premiere in October. And uh, according to the blind item, let me just finish it all off here for you. It's Splitsville for Andrew Garfield and his witch. Uh, or a girlfriend, it's longtime a witch. girlfriend, witch girlfriend, witch. Uh, Kate Thomas Andrew is her is name. Witch. And uh, it sounds like he is going to be on the hunt uh, soon, but before it might make a dating pit stop with Florence Pugh, perhaps. You know, to be fair, I mean, witches by nature aren't really interested in a family. Mm-hmm. If anything, they're interested in like putting them in a cauldron with an eye of newt. <laughs> so I- I'm not surprised. Yeah. You know. Not a shock. Right. Uh, her name is Kate what? Thomas, I believe. Dr. Kate 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 Thomas. Thomas. I think. All right. Well, you know, she was tied to also remember during Dune, people were saying her and Timothy Chalamet were. Florence Pugh. Yeah, they're besties. uh, According to everything we've heard, they actually had to be separated on the set because they caused too much. They made each other laugh. They made each other laugh so much that no one could take anything seriously. So they seem like they're close. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. There you go. You guys got that one. Nicely done. Let's move on to another blind item here. We're going to jump to this one. Another weekend, another Coke binge. The team behind this a minus list singer who had a huge summer is pushing her to take the endorsement money wherever and whenever she can. They know it's not going to last if she can't clean up her act. Coke binge. Mm Mm-hmm. Another weekend, another Coke binge. The team behind this A minus list singer who had a huge summer is pushing her to take the endorsement money wherever and whenever she can because they know it's not going to last if she can't clean up her act. Who had a huge summer? Charlie XCX. It was a brat summer. Mm. Yes, you got it. Nicely done. Hmm. I don't like that. Yeah, I know. I hope she's not binging the Coke. Yeah. Or another- the Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. One better than the other. Diet Coke for sure. Uh, another weekend, another Coke binge. The team behind Charlie XEX, who had a huge summer, is pushing her to take the endorsement money wherever and whenever she can. They know that uh, it's not going to last if she doesn't clean up her act. And of course, this is also on the heels. Did you see her big endorsement recently? No. What'd she get? She did a huge photo shoot. She's the latest Skims model. Oh, good for her. It's okay. a good endorsement. Did some Skims work. Yeah. Give me. Mm-hmm. Boy, that Kim Kardashian, she's always getting the hottest people yep. and the yeah. 
promoting she knows what things she's doing. with the hottest events. Like her team is on it. AK Chris Jenner. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, good luck to her. I hope she's not doing the coke. Girl, get off it because yes. that's not going to age well. Yeah. No, not at all. Let's do another blind item here. Let's roll it along to this one. The permanent A-list actor who directs is uh, trying everything now. You didn't want to see his movie before, but now he thinks you're going to want to see his movie because he's struggling to move on from his ex. Give me a break. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. A permanent A-list actor who likes to direct is trying everything. You didn't want to see his movie before, but now he thinks you're going to want to see it. Now that you think he's struggling to move on from his ex, give me a break. Who Let's just get this? this out of the way. Is it yeah. Ben Affleck? Nope. Okay. Now I can. Was, focus it's funny. On There's other a things. few blind items that, uh, including a couple of these uh, relationship ones, that I think, yeah, they, okay. they could all have been maybe getting you down that path. But all no, right. that not that permanent A-list actor who likes to direct. So this is somebody that he wants us to believe like he's having a rough time because he's having a hard time moving on. And apparently uh, nobody wanted to see his movie. Oh, okay. Ain't nobody want to see that dumb movie. It's not, well, it's not Francis Ford Coppola. Not that movie that nobody wants to see. Um, There's another one. Because he's a A plus list actor. Permanent A list list actor actor who who directs. Yeah, who directs. Okay. Um... Is trying everything. You didn't want to see his movie before, but now he thinks you will because uh, he's struggling to move on from his ex. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break because I shall need one. Okay, come to me. Mm. Mm, let's see. I mean... Uh... An actor who likes to direct. Is this movie coming out soon? Has been out? It's It's been out. Oh, oh it's been and... out. But you're going to have another Permanent opportunity to see it actor. on Friday. It's not that like yellow or what's not yellow stuff. Oh, Kevin Costner. The permanent what? A-list actor likes to direct AK. Kevin Costner is trying everything now. Nobody wanted to see Horizon before. And now he thinks that you'll want to see it because he's struggling to move on from Christine Bumgarner. Yes. Really? Okay. Give me a break. Yeah, well, that is exactly. hard to believe. So that oh, blind item so. is very believable. Well, when you read the uh, tabloids, go ahead and give Kevin Costner a little search right now, and you're going to find out all of these articles saying how much, and I'm sure his people leaked it, he's struggling to move on from his mm. ex. Why? Why? Well, that was Why clear from the moment they were there? fighting five you know, seconds yeah. after uh, they went their separate ways. She needs to give me all the pots and pans. <laughs> yeah. The, I, or actually, she keep, wanted the pots yeah. and pans. Yeah, like, she's stealing the pots and pans. Really? Dude, you're fine. You can buy more pots and pans. Let her well, have those fancy Based pots on how and pans. that movie's doing, he might not be able to. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to just sit by a campfire and cook Make off an beans. old iron skillet. Mm-hmm. Well, good luck to Get him. Cookie to good luck make to some him. beans. <laughs> by the way, Megalopolis, did you, did you guys watch the trailer? You made me watch the trailer. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I was just. Theater of the Mind. I was wondering if you saw the trailer or oh, not. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wait, say it again. You brought up Francis say Ford Coppola in that movie. I was like, yeah, the trailer, if you guys noticed, the first few, I don't know, 30-ish seconds of it mm. is basically like everyone hated The Godfather at yeah. first. I'm just like, if you have Everybody to Everybody hated Apocalypse people, Now at first. Yeah, look at these bad reviews of classic <laughs> movies. Like, okay. Nobody likes this film, so you're not going to. Uh, unless you show up 10 years from now, then you'll love it. Yeah, Great. That's... So basically, I don't need to go see it. I'll just wait 10 years. The message of the trailer that I got was, uh, this movie is too smart for you to like it. It's too genius for you to like it. So you're you're not going to like it. So you should definitely come see it. What? No. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's genius for me. Well, who's it made for then? Other geniuses. People at MIT? Yeah, apparently. Let's do another blind Good luck to him. Yeah, best luck of that movie. I do want to see it, though. I do, too. Well, we're going to see it, then. What are we talking about? <laughs> I want to see it and then just tell everybody how great it was and then it be like, so I'm smart. Great. Oh, yeah, let's do it. You, let's are do gonna, it. you all are going to hate it, but I loved it. And then tell people, oh, you just didn't get it, didn't probably. Get it. It's so rude. Let's do another blind item here. Uh, Let's move on to this one. The excuses continue to pile up for this longtime permanent A-list singer. First it's COVID, then it's strep, 
Then the facts are his drinking has gotten so bad, or the true facts are his drinking has gotten so bad that he can't even leave his room. Friends can say they are worried, but if someone doesn't step in and help him, then all this recent self-fulfilling prophecy joke or not is going to actually come true. So the excuses continue to pile mm-hmm. up for this longtime permanent A-list singer. First it was COVID, then it's strep. But the facts are his drinking has gotten so bad that he can't even leave his room. Friends can say they're worried about him, but if someone doesn't step up and help him, then his recent self-fulfilling prophecy, joke or not, may actually come true. Oh, any idea? Uh, sure. Nope. Somebody's got uh, COVID and they got strep. Mm-hmm. And Perma- long time permanent, permanent A-list singer. Oh, okay. Barry we're, using, we're using all of the things. Barry Manilow. That's a, I just saw him. I That's know. actually a shockingly close guess. Elton John. Is this person touring right now? Yep. Okay. Mm. Mm. Or at least performing. Oh, oh, is it um, Tom Jones? It's not unusual to guess that, but no. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. The yeah. excuses continue to pile up for this longtime permanent A list singer. Mm-hmm. First, it's COVID, then it's strep. But the reality is, his drinking has gotten so bad he can't even leave his room. Wayne Newton. Friends can uh, say they oh. are worried about him, but until somebody steps up, uh, his self fulfilling prophecy, joke or not, may soon come true. Self fulfilling prophecy. So he must have recently said something oh. about his health or okay. about how long he has. Rod on this Stewart. Earth. Yep. <gasps> oh. Nicely done. You got there. No, Rod Stewart. He has been canceling shows left and right. First, it was due to COVID. Now, apparently, I do it's remember strep. the COVID story. Yeah. Then, apparently, he had strep. He had to cancel some more shows like a week later. According to the blind item, though, the facts are his drinking has gotten so bad he can't even leave his room. Friends can say they're worried because we have also seen some rumors that friends and loved ones are maybe concerned about him but if someone doesn't step up and get him help his recent self-fulfilling prophecy joke or not may come true Mm. i think he made a comment on social media that his days are numbered and then later said i was just talking everyone's days are numbered that's ominous Mm -hmm. everyone but you didn't say everyone's days are numbered you said my my days days are numbered yeah which Mm. makes people think that's just like saying i'm gonna die Someday. Yeah, exactly. We all are. Wow. So that's the latest we have from there. Hopefully he hope gets the help he needs. He, if he needs yes. help, I love, like, literally, that's just every, every um, sad blind item. Good luck to him. I hope he gets the help that he needs. What else can you say? Well, because that's the asterisk. That's like the, the like, whenever, <laughs> if you're like selling supplements, you have to give that, you know. Oh. Th- these statements have not been <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, disclaimer? verified by the FDA. That's our disclaimer. Yeah. We should put that at the bottom of every show. Really and on a t-shirt. That. Which, by the way, nobody has con- commented on my t-shirt today. You are a former a list tween actress. It's we need to, to get read. these in our uh, swag shop. Agreed. Which, by the way, fingers crossed, we might have a way to get you YouTube listeners uh, some of our swag because we're going to have our very own Blinded by the Item t-shirt available for sale Yay. at the Minnesota State Fair, which begins tomorrow, Thursday, August 22nd, 3rd, 2nd. And um, I have been assured that they are trying to get us an online opportunity for you on the YouTube. So fingers crossed. We'll tell you more about that when we learn it. Because yeah. that would be awesome. Love it. That would be great. And then we need to get some of these t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's Definitely. talk about some more former A- minus between actresses. Let's move on to this one. Now that they are done playing the PR game, this foreign-born, soon-to-be A-list TV slash movie actor has stopped pretending with this foreign-born, home-wrecking, A-list, Oscar-winning actress. Uh Uh-oh. Now the actor is getting serious with the A-list musician who didn't hide her thirst for him a few years ago. So we have got... Okay, okay. We're done playing the PR game. This foreign-born, soon-to-be A-list TV slash movie actor has stopped pretending with this foreign-born, home-wrecking, A-list, Oscar-winning actress. Now the actor is getting serious with this A-list musician who didn't hide her thirst for him a few years ago. This is confusing. So this sounds like there was a publication ship. There was a publication ship that has now apparently come to a close. So that means that the... 
foreign born soon to be a list TV slash movie actor who is a part of that relationship is going to be moving on from that foreign born home wrecking a list Oscar winning actress. And now moving on with an A minus list musician cool. who apparently had a thirst for him. The musician is a female who had a thirst for him. Don't ever make that noise again, Don. <laughs> um, uh, and, and a home wrecker. And a home wrecker. Oh, home wrecker. Term. It's Let's not say. like, it's not Olivia Wilde. It is not Olivia Wilde. Is it Ariana Grande? Uh, nope. Okay. An Oscar winning. We're going through our home record <laughs> list. Oh, <I> no. <laughs> Let's see the guys that are home records too. Um, that list is too long. Yeah. Oscar winning home record. Yes. Mm, let's Meryl see. Streep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Angelina Jolie. That first one was for Meryl. Meryl. Just to make sure. Just in case. Don't want anyone to mm-hmm. question Meryl's mm-hmm. integrity. Going through all the people And then a musician here. who's thirsty. Mm-hmm. Is the musician. She's like, hey, I'm thirsty for this one. Yeah, basically. Publicly. Uh, and then the actor is who she's thirsty for. And the, yep. the actor is a foreign born. Foreign born soon to be a list TV slash movie actor. So this is somebody who soon is all. Be. Yes. I would say probably uh, a minus list TV actor turned soon to be a list TV slash movie actor. Got a lot of big projects in the works. Hmm. Do we know of him? Uh Uh-huh. Okay, we do. It's not... I will say we are about to know a lot more about him. Okay. He is on an upward trajectory that the common audience will know much, much better than they do now. Not Barry Keoghan. Yeah, I was going to say Barry Keoghan. He is on a Barry Keoghan-like ascent. (laughs) Jacob um, Elordi. Okay. Um, mm. Austin think of, Butler. Think of some of our... Glenn Powell? Uh, think of some of our um, A-list, uh, a TV show. Uh-huh. It's been along for, around for a long time that would pull someone into that A-list category. Is it a Game of Thrones experience? Nope. Suits? A TV show that's been around is a streamer? Okay. That's been around for a while. Mm-hmm. Is it still running? Yep. Okay. Oh. Walking Dead, because it'll uh, never die. And is it on HBO Max? It's not. Paramount Plus? Nope. Netflix? Yep. Oh, Noah Schnapples? Uh, very close. Another st- Stranger Things person? Noah Schnapple's a part of this story. So it's Stranger Things person. Uh-huh. Uh, um, Cutie Pie. I don't know the other Stranger I, I, Things I, actors. Yeah, I stopped watching. You know this name. He was just in one of the biggest movies uh, in the last few weeks. He also is going to be in The Fantastic Four. He's oh. going to be in Gladiator 2. He is going to be in a ton of movies. Um, is it the guitar playing dude? From which mo- show? Stranger Things. I don't know. Okay. I'd have to look for help. I, d- I haven't watched Stranger Things. Yeah, me either. That's uh, why I'm struggling. His here. name is Joseph Quinn. Sorry, we got to get to the end of this. Oh, yeah. His name is Joseph Quinn. Yes. He was rumored oh. to be dating his co-star from A Quiet Place Day One. Oh. Cutie Pie. Lupita Nyong'o. Yes. Nyong'o, who of course is alleged to be oh with that other the home wrecker of joshua jackson yeah. and jody turner, turner smith. smith yes but now do you remember who jumped in the dms of noah schnapp to try to woo her oh yeah 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 who was it oh 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 she not uh, rita then, then, oh oh um doja cat got Yay! there she made her dreams come true we had this story like two years I ago know, that I thought- do- Doja Cat slid into the DMs of Noah Schnapp to say, hey, what's the situation with Joa, with uh, Joseph Quinn? I wanted to hear some more details about him. He's fine yeah. as heck. They're dating now. Full circle. Yeah. Full circle on the together. blinds. Make your dreams come Who's true. Grabbing her boobie. If you... <laughs> I think. If you've been listening for the last two years, congratulations. You're playing the long game on the <laughs> Blinded by the Item experience, which you can listen to on the radio on Mind Talk podcast, wherever you get your podcast, like and subscribe, and on YouTube, where you can watch all our shenanigans, like and subscribe, and tell all your friends about Blinded, Blinded by, by the Item. Nice. Nice. 
Blinded by the item. item.